Alright folks, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing now uh, to hook my gasifier to the engine. So what I did, I unmounted the air filter from this carburetor and now so what I want to do is keep the carburetor because uh, there's this piece here it's called the regulator it will uh, open and close the throttle so that the engine will have constant RPM and so I want to keep this all this uh, regulator system so what I'm gonna do is uh, just hook the the alternate fuel system in front of this carburetor so I took two washers I made these little uh, holes here and now I will put them here I will put that small piece of uh, uh, tube between the both washers um, yeah, just like that. Alright, I will weld this all together. But first I'll show you what I'm doing here. So, <clears throat> so with that mounted, um, then I will have to weld another small piece of tube here. And then weld that on top of it. So this, uh, you can see it. It's it's just a valve. It's a T. Okay. So it's a T. Uh, here's the outlet that goes into the engine. Here I've got uh, a valve. This will control the the airflow and on the other side I will have the gas that will flow in so uh, on this side I will I've got this adapter here and I will put an air filter on top uh, on the other side the gas should be already filtered when it comes here so all this piece will be hooked up right here so that system will allow me to use the carburetor with gasoline if I want it and use uh, gas if I want it I just have to plug the gas entry so that no no air will go in there and just use the air filter and open that valve Okay, so that was not very easy to weld. Uh, it turned out good. Uh, that tube had a zinc coating on it. I grind, grinded it off at the outside to weld it, but at, at the inside it, it did burn and left that white coating in there. When it burned it was, it had a green flame it was quite funny so now I'll have to look how I could uh, put these tubes on there yeah, so let's do that Right, so I don't need this tube, it seems so.
So that's it. I hope that will fit. So I will just clog this part here uh, so I can use the engine with gasoline by opening this valve completely and if I want to use it with uh, the wood gas I will plug the wood gas hose here and open this just at the right angle so that the air and the gas mixes so yeah we will see if this works with gasoline only and this valve here will act as a choke Now it's pretty simple how you connect uh, the engine to the gasifier. I will use this uh, tube here. It's uh, a tube to soak in water. Uh, it's a tube for a water pump. So you don't want this tube to squeeze like, like that when the engine is soaking the gas through it. You don't want to use a garden tube like that. It will squeeze when uh, when the air the gas is soaked through it so now it's pretty simple I've got this thing here that goes into the tube and then I have got a reduction so uh, basically that reduction will just fit in there just like that and now I will not use this reduction because Basically you don't want to have this thing to be very heavy because with the vibrations of the engine it could break these bolts here that hold the carburetor and the air filter in place. So basically uh, I will make a 3D printed reduction here and I will also replace this adapter here by a 3D printed one. So next time I will make the first filter for my gasifier, it will just be a small filter. But uh, until then I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.